What's up guys? Welcome back again to my channel again. Uh, a little bit cloudy today, it might be a bit raining outside. If you see in the back. Um, this looks hopefully it's not gonna rain today, but because I really want to take out my ruckus. Um, so today um, I'm working on the um, the, uh, the the variator, um, the wheels, upgrading it uh, to make it more um, lightweight so it can go up a little bit more speedy. Um, I also have the um, the CDI um, kit, as I was mentioned earlier, I couldn't do it. Um, I, mean, I just don't want it's too much wiring right now. I don't want to get into this ECU stuff. There's a lot of work to be done, but this is something that I can do separately. Um, I also did the uh, the decompression tube in here, uh, replacing the old stock um, uh, oil plug. Hopefully that's gonna add up something. You know, I don't know, but let's just um, yeah, let's just focus on this right now. I'm gonna work on this. If you have a stock one, it's um, just removing the bolts. As you can see, we have the belt and we have the um, alternator. So we're gonna have to take out this bolt in here, strip it out, take it out, and then you're gonna have to take out the piece so we can remove the, uh, the flywheel behind here. So the part where you actually cut the, um, after taking out the bolts, pretty much um, the nuts, pretty much you gotta get this thing ready. Um, this is very easy to do. Look at the, the Ruckus website, the Ruck Shop. Uh, we have to do, put this like the triangle piece plastic in here. You can see the triangle piece in here. And then you're gonna put the weights. Um, I don't know if you can see, I'm gonna move my camera. You can see the weights in here are sitting are on the sixth corner in here. And I, I picked the, um, the lightest weight so that we're gonna have, not gonna have a problem with the you know, acceleration. So, yeah. And then, so what you do after that, just pretty much put this on top of it. Make sure it's loose. Um, you don't want this, the, uh, this plate, the face plate, to be very tight. So, you wanna be loose like this, right? So, so that's where the correct way. And you're gonna put the, um, the little brass in here that's on the back in here. Okay, there you go. So now you have this thing ready. Just have to put install that, and we're gonna take out the um, the stock ones. Oh. Remember the washer kit. Don't lose this one. You're gonna need it. I got the stock one. Okay. Again, it counts like that. this you don't want to lose it okay so now we're gonna do pinch the belt take off the belt it's gonna be a little bit tricky just have to pinch the belt it'll slide off there we go okay now people can you can take this off or you can just leave it the way it is. I don't think there's any problem. Now we're gonna take out this part here. As you can see, this is the part that you're gonna take off. And that's what you're gonna replace with. Oh. Just take this off. Okay. And that's what you're replacing with. The new ones that we already prepared. So that's simple as that, guys. Okay, so you can see the old ones. Let's just open up a little bit. The old ones, what it looks like. They have all the um, the rubber balls in here. Now the the uh, the weights, they're all located in here. 
Okay. Thing. Over here. That's how we did on our part as well, right? So now, you just have to put this back, like that. Do the same orientation again. With the new ones that we have in here. So again, it's going to be like this. Make sure the weights are there. Make sure it's loose, you can see it runs. And then, you can just pinch this. Okay, just be like that. Very easy. And then we just have to restore the other parts back. It's right here. That's it. And then we just put all the um the nuts back again one piece. And then we just restore everything back again. Simple as that guys. Just put this one back. Make sure this one goes in the right space. There we go. All good, all done. I did not post anything on the Ruckus um, startup yesterday and even drive out yesterday because it was such a nice It actually unlocked what I did yesterday on the Ruckus on the um, um, On the clutch I'm gonna remove this. I'm gonna actually getting a, a new um, um, cover in here as well and um, I'm also actually getting a new CDI which actually a plug-and-play Which is a lot more better than the one I have the other one was like kind of you had to rewire and everything have to cut it uh, I'm not gonna do that. It's too much work, but the new um, clutch will come and there are some parts in here, the, fly, the uh, new flywheel, flywheel. That's gonna make it even more faster um, on the Struckers and I really can't wait to um, actually drive it out. And, and eventually I wanna have um, those um, GoPro mount so you can see how fast I'm going. It's, going. it's gonna go above like 40 miles per hour. At least it's gonna be hit 50, that's what they say. But also, I did just show you one other thing that I did. We did, um, I did this one here as well. The um, on the oil, um, the compression tube. So it was funny thing that my friend, we were outside last night, and my friend was like noticing on the road there was like a trail of oil, um, which obviously um, my ruckus is pretty dry. You can see in the bottom there's no oil drip whatsoever, and I checked the oil level as well. It's pretty, pretty pretty good not no snow oil like you know dripping and like that so yeah that's exciting um oh yeah i'm also getting the new um so yeah i'm gonna get a new oil pack that's gonna be exciting um that's a new addition to that as well uh, on top of the cdi um the rockers is coming together pretty nicely guys to be honest uh there are things that um i have to adjust the um the car the uh the throttle um, pin right there just to make it a little bit more um, uh, uh, responsive on the throttle but you know, other than that I might eventually take out the um, change the exhaust I want to get like the end of one actually come up in here um, to kind of make it more nicer but I like it this one here because it's obnoxious loud uh, my friend was telling me like uh, he has a Yoshimura one he has a Yoshimura um, exhaust and his is a lot less 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 louder than mine and when he hears when he hears mine, he sounded like um, a freaking dirt bike. Oh, you see, I have my key in here. I think I have my key inside the house. But anyway, um, yeah. So that's that. And then uh, my other update was the um, the uh, the horn that was in here. It keeps coming out. It keeps falling out because what happened was that uh, whenever I moved my uh, my steering um, column. Come keep rubbing on the on the here you can see it's rubbing out on the on the on the um, on the what do you call it on the decal in here and it keeps falling out so it, instead of having it at the horn here I instead of put it inside the, the box and you know make it a lot more or less um, messier so that's that and also I reinstalled the um, um, the mirror the side mirror for both sides which are you actually useless at all? Actually, this is useless. I'm not even using. I can't even see the the car. I cannot see the car behind me, stuff like that. But just for the sake of you know, 
in the traffic and you cops seeing you don't have a mirror side mirror you don't want to get pulled over but so i put this on back on again so whatever right so but yeah and other thing also did um the the headlight um what happens is my um the 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 wrap that i did this you see this um tint um headlight um uh, it cuts it's not coming off on the side in here it's not peeling off so i decided to put the clear bra um over it um, just kind of like a tape it around it so that it doesn't have the um you know problem anymore so now it's um you know it's not coming out yeah guys so a lot, a lot of work to do still i think i'm gonna get that speed um all the way up to like 50 if i can get miles per hour on this um on this bike that would be awesome that would give so much so much more you know um power and you know making sure the oil is always level and or the gear oil um that's the most important thing as well you have to always um, check on that make sure that's not um leaking so it's very easy what you do is just take out this bolt right here you see there's a big bolt right here yeah that's the one and then just fill it up with the gear oil i use this um i use this gear oil royal purple 75w90 um really good um, and for the other oil, for the regular car um, engine oil, I use this um, 10W40 Kawasaki for motorcycle oil. Really good. So, I trust those guys very well. Yeah, so other than that, um, Ruckus is running well. No issues so far. Great. And yeah, so hopefully when, uh, when the weather actually gets warmer, uh, I'm going to start taking it out again because yes, today is actually a bit cold. The weather is a bit cold outside, so... Yeah, go check it out when it's nicer.